Hello everyone, it's Brandon here with Bootleg Boxes, here with a real quick tutorial for you guys. Um, I have uh, with me a JTAG Xbox 360. I'm going to be showing you how to do uh, a few things in Halo Reach. Namely, I'm going to be showing you how to delete the, uh, the kill boundaries as well as the vehicle ceiling so you can go anywhere in the map that you want. Um, so you're going to need a few things uh, to get this set up first and foremost, and I'll have uh, another video later on to show you how to get everything else set up but you're gonna need to have Xbox 360 neighborhood um, installed and uh, have it hooked up to your computer or to your Xbox excuse me I have mine right here um, that's gonna be needed to actually run the uh, the soft the uh, RTE tool that you're gonna use um, you're also gonna need this tool set here that has uh, three files it has RTE loader RTE launcher and then the a patched default.xex. Um, so once you get all that set up, uh, you're going to want to have your Xbox powered on. Then you're going to go ahead and load up uh, FileZilla or you can use Xbox 360 Neighborhood, but FTP is usually quicker. Once you do that, go ahead and connect to your Xbox. From here, you're going to see uh, a handful of folders. And you're going to want to have, go into HDD1. Now, wherever you saved, uh, you ripped your ISO for Halo Reach, uh, that's where you're going to want to navigate. So for me, I went to Games, and right here I have Reach. Now, this is a uh, ISO rip um, directly to the hard drive. You uh, won't be able to do this using a, uh, a Games on Demand method. So once you get that set up, you're going to go ahead and open this up, the RTE folder, and you're just going to copy those right in. It's going to ask if you want to replace the uh, default.xex. Go ahead and hit OK. And once that's done, we have three successful transfers there. We can go ahead and close out of uh, FileZilla here. And if you uh, you can do this one of two ways. You can either use the file browser on the Xbox, or you can use Xbox 360 Neighborhood to navigate to your um, folder and launch the uh, program. So I'm going to use 360 Neighborhood, so just navigate back to the same place, open up the Reach folder, and you want to launch this one, this is rtelauncher.xex. Uh, double click that or launch it from your um, Xbox and uh, I'll meet you over there. Okay, so once we're over here on our Xbox, like I said, you can either launch the uh, the program one of two ways. I already showed you how to do it with Xbox Neighborhood. Um, here I'll show you how to do it from the file browser. This right here is the Freestyle Dash 3, and it is the latest version. As you can see, I'm on kernel version one, uh, 16537 and Dash version 3.0 rev 775. If you don't th know what that means, it's just the uh, latest edition that's out right now. So, um, once here, I'm going to go ahead and go up to File Manager, and go down to HDD1, scroll down to Games, open up your Reach folder, and go down to rtelauncher.xex. Once this is open, you're going to see um, a screen that comes up that says ready to accept connections, hit OK. Next one's going to say listening, hit OK. Now that means that uh, you're now going to be able to use a RTE tool such as assembly to modify the game's contents. So uh, once we get that set up, you're going to want to go ahead and get, sign yourself into uh, your system link account and I'll be playing this with another friend of mine who's gonna help me out here there we go there you can see we have our friend here and we have myself so I'm gonna get him back out of this go into main menu and to be able to see the matches for him to see your match you're gonna hit Y and go down to system games 
And now for this to work, you are going to need to be a host. So once I get this set up, my friend here should join. Set up and then just start the game. Now, in this instance, I'm going to be using the map Forge World. Okay, so once you're in here, um, everything is completely stock. I haven't modified anything just yet. But from here, we're going to go ahead and head on back over to our computer and uh, take it from there. Okay, so from here, you're going to want to go ahead and open up your uh, RTE tool. Today, we're going to be using Assembly, and I'll have a link for this in the description as well. So once that loads up, uh, you're going to go ahead and want to uh, find your Halo files. Mine are right in here. Now, like I said, we are using Forge Worlds. So you're going to want to find that down here. Open that up. Once it loads up, you're going to go to Tags. And here's a list of all the things that you can edit. Now, there is quite a good number of stuff in here. And you can always play around, figure out things for yourself and everything else like that. Uh, first and foremost, you're going to want to make sure in your settings under Xbox 360 Development that it is uh, hooked up to your... 360. So, once that's here, um, for this tutorial, I'm just going to be showing you how to delete the kill boundaries and um, the vehicle ceilings. So, you're going to scroll down to these two tags, SC and R, and then, oh, there, and then SDDT. Open both of those up by just clicking it, it creates little tabs up here. So, uh, from there, and as you can see, if I fly way up here, it says return to battlefield. And there, I'm dead. So once that's uh, done, you're going to want to, uh, or once you see that, um, you're going to want to go back into here, under the uh, SCNR file, go up to the search menu, type in K-I-L-L, -L. go to next, and you're going to want to look for this one, Kill Safe Zone Shapes. Click this button right here that says Information, and this one right here that says Count, you're going to change that to zero. Click quick poke, and that right there is the kill boundaries. Yeah. See, as you can see, I'm up here, and it's not prompting to kill me. However, I'm still running into that ceiling, invisible wall boundary, if you will. And to get rid of that, you're going to go into the SDDT. And right here, this first one that says Design Shapes. Same exact thing. You're going to drop down the Information tab, Change Count to Zero. Quick poke that, and now you should be good to go. From here, you can go ahead and just move straight through. Now, one thing to note, vehicles don't like to spawn if they're past the boundary. It will oftentimes just delete them like that. So find out as far out as you can take it, drop it, and you can still take them outside without any worry. So, as you can see, I am 
very much clearly outside of the boundaries. Um, so that's always fun to do. Another one that uh, I quite enjoy doing is rapid fire everything. That's just a real quick little one. Um, in this instance, I'm going to be showing you how to do it with the pistol. Sorry for the mute. Okay. So, there we got the pistol. Doesn't shoot very fast at all. But we can change that. From uh, assembly, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to weapons, W E A P, and find the magnum tag, which is right here. I'm going to open this up. Scroll down a little bit of ways, and there's a few things you're going to edit on this one. First thing you're going to want to edit, and you can search for this if you type in triggers up here in the search bar, but you're going to want to edit the one that says behavior, it says latch, change that to spew, hit quick poke. We're not done quite yet go down just a little bit further you're going to see shots per min and shots per fire max change both of those to zero and then to give yourself bottomless clip you can go down to rounds per shot and change that to zero as well hit quick poke and then we'll go back to the game and test it out so that's just a little fun thing you can do. and you can do this with any weapon in the game even vehicles, so that's a lot. Uh, but that ends this tutorial. Um, also, oh, my friend isn't in here, but if you were, uh, you could take him, like, a, let's say you got yourself into a warthog, right? If you get yourself and your buddy into the same warthog, you can travel outside of the boundary. And there is one more thing. If you notice here, the water kind of makes things difficult and you move incredibly slow. To adjust that, you're going to go back into here and it'll be under the SDDT file. Go down to Underwater Mask. It should be up just a hair. Under Water Shapes. Find the one labeled Z. It says negative 99.77319. Change that to 150. Click quick poke. Then we'll look back at our game. And notice... It's very much uh, easier to see now. But we're still below the water. But like I said, if you got a buddy in here, you and him can hop in the same warthog and drive yourself outside of the boundary. Go out, have, have yourself a bit of fun. And, uh, notice all the things that, uh, you couldn't reach before. Well, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, as always, I will catch you later.